let's talk about uh, expanded role of so we have a two type of implementation in roll up one is uh, it has you know limited control so we have a simply the aggregation function and uh, we have you know one uh, it allows one only one function roll up right one transform function and uh, we don't have really you know different controls like we cannot declare the we cannot filter out the records we cannot we cannot uh, apply the key change function we cannot have a temporary type to manipulate the data in between the records right within the group and so on so we have a simple uh, implementation of roll up in abinitio and uh, there is another implementation which is called expanded it comes with the multiple transform function and uh, and uh, the sequence of transform function we can discuss and what are all different transform function we have in expanded roll up that we are going to touch upon now so let's say we have we are processing one of uh, data set right group processing uh, so that is uh, roll up um, comes into picture when we have a group based processing right so first of all we will have input select function to filter out the necessary or uh, to to filter the necessary only record right so so in this case if let's say there is a region is the is the one of the you know uh, column so amia record we can filter out only so this uh, is one more one first first of all the control is and uh, then we have a key change function let's say uh, so this key change function we have already discussed in one of the video so whenever this condition satisfies then the grouping uh, of the records changes right so work date is on different right work date is one of the column right so the current work date is uh, not equal to the previous work date then you know if it is greater than the previous work date, work date then only the group would change otherwise not so this is one more control in the key of the you know roll up function basically and then we will have a temporary type so this temporary type can be used to collect the information to men so that in iterative way for the next record that can be accessed upon so within a group if we want to store the values successively that can be done right so we can then we have we have this is the temp temporary type and we have initialize function so first so this will be called every time the group you know changes first for the first record of the every group so whenever the group changes the this initialize function will be called and we can populate the this, we have a, this in in you know current record as an input right so that that can be assigned or this uh, temporary type you know values uh, can be initialized or it can be initiated with anything right constant value or maybe incoming uh, record can be used to initiate this and then we will have a main function roll up function so that uh, we can if we have temporary type declared we can manipulate that temporary type okay and uh, we can uh, initiate uh, we can assign other fields also right which is there in the output right so that can be done and uh, finally we have a finalize so this will be you know the out star will the fields will have you know your your output dml so this is to and uh, you know populate the output record which is you know uh, which has been you know uh, which which one it will be one for each group right so in the roll up we can assign the id and other fields and also if uh, any field which is based on this temporary field you know so that also we can assign or it can be conditionalized right uh, 
and then we will have output select output select is again there is a filter condition if we do not want to output all the records uh, which came out from the finalize function then again we can control this so no, we we have a count right so if count is greater than 4 then if we don't want this on if count is greater than 4 only then you know uh, we will be putting uh, placing the output right and then there are other functions actually so these functions are output without input so let's say in continuous graphs right so this that will be a you know good example for output without input so when if we don't have any you know a record for a particular between any checkpoint so we can output some some of the you know uh, dummy record or something right so that can be done and uh, parameter called output without input so what is that at some shutdown uh, yeah, or its uh, component shutdown at each endpoint at each component compute point or never so there there will be a output without input there will be a three uh, possibilities at component shutdown if component is getting shut down and we did not receive an input so that uh, that time we can play some output uh, customize output record or other checkpoint you know or it is compute point in the case of continuous graph or never so these kind of values we can have there is a parameter actually output without input so based on this value this output can be configured right so then again we, we have a you know other different function which is called output at event so if certain event happens if you want to place an out output then we can uh, we can uh, you know create this uh, function and output for error so for a particular error right so if we want to uh, place a customized error right uh, for if, let's say if any error happens for a particular record and we have defined this function and uh, so this this record will not go into the error or reject port you know there won't be any uh, if we have defined this if we let those is kind of handling of the error so in this case the record will go to the output output uh, no, port only so the error port and the reject port will not be there for this the, i mean the record is not going to be rejected right so make error we can uh, customize the error we can create the error in our way log error and we can uh, we can log that error you know we can create the error we can place the place that into the log output and then there is a final log output in the sense of finally after pro, you know after processing if we want to produce one final you know log output uh, the customized one we can create one more output for the log so this this will be a customized one okay so like that we can uh, we can uh, you know define um, the fun fee, uh, functions which are required as part of expanded rollup so this is all about uh, expanded rollup so mostly this expanded rollup is uh, used whenever we want to have more control on the data processing the group based processing and also we want to utilize the you know rollup Roll up, roll up aggregated functions, right? So yeah, thank you so much.